Ladies and gentlemen, what's good with you? BQ here with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Would appreciate your subscription greatly if you're a first timer trying to hit the 2500 mark. I'm trying to do so very soon, so I'd appreciate your support. We've been talking a lot about Laurel Van Ness lately. Actually, I can't say we've been talking about it because I disable the comments anytime I do a video regarding this. But this is my third upload regarding Laurel. And the first one, I talked about her requesting her release. And in the second one, I talked about her request being denied. So an update for you guys, you can pretty much expect Laurel to be done after the next set of tapings. So internally right now, um, the company has been very shocked by this and uh, rightfully, sh rightfully so because it came out of nowhere. Um, the, right now, internally, the plans are for her to work the next set of tapings, um, creatively been, been you know, taken out of the storylines, and then released from the company. So, although I would like to see them hold on to her and her uphold her end of the contract, I, can, I, I, do, I do like them doing it this way instead of just releasing people in the middle of tapings and we're watching them knowing they're not going to be there which is you know maybe the case this time around too but at least they can get some kind of proper send off and it's not just you know the next set of tapings pops up and all of a sudden it's uh where's this person we're going to pretend like they didn't exist so you can pretty much um uh, count on laurel van ness being gone after the january set of tapings her contract runs out i believe in july anyway but it looks like they're going to move on from her. I've said this in my other two videos. This young lady has made it very clear that she wants to work for the WWE. And um, I think she's, I do think she is happy with Impact. I don't think she's unhappy by any stretch of the imagination. But I think what she's doing right now to the company is wrong and really sucks. If you, some of you, a lot of you don't watch WWE. If you have social media, you, you've probably seen that they've, um, it's kind of hard to miss it. They've called up a lot of uh, young ladies from the NXT side. I think they might have called up about four recently. They put together a couple stables. I saw the pictures. Um, I think they're a big reach. The, the two groups of three ladies don't look like they uh, fit in any way whatsoever. They actually look like knockoffs of each other. <laughs> so if you see a, a, there's a picture floating around of the two of them next to each other. They look like knockoffs of each other. It's pretty bad. But with this being said, TV time is opening in the NXT product. Um, it's it's I think there there's rumored um, as a reading on Facebook they're trying to do a women's Royal Rumble. So there's you you have to imagine they are recruiting a lot of women right now, and basically what it seems like Hunter and all them are doing is trying to pick up on those who are who are gaining steam in another company. Not just you know they they've never been one to to really build their own talents. It's about who can we get from here? Who can we get from there? So I'm not gonna babble about this much longer. I wanna make this really quick. But again, we can pretty much count on Laurel Van Ness being done after the January set of tapings. And um, we're gonna have to see who steps up in her place. Thank God we've got Taya inked to a new deal. Sienna uh, heel who wants to be there. Um, I believe Casey Spinelli is probably going to be a heel. She looked like she was wrestling as a heel so far. I wouldn't count on Madison Rain being around. Madison Rain being around any further past that match. So um, we're going to see. But with with subs subtraction always comes addition, and that's the exciting part to this is that we're we're going to get someone to replace her. Someone's going to be in her place, and hopefully it's someone who wants to be there. Here's here's the last closing comment I want to make. Impact officials, Anthem officials, they need to sit down with this roster and say, okay, no BS. Who does not want to be here? Dixie Carter did something very similar years ago. Granted, uh, there was a lot of distension going on and <laughs> it, was, it was kind of a, under different circumstances. But I think Ed and um, you know whoever else, they need to sit down and say, okay, what's the deal? Who wants to be here? Who, who's in here for the long term? Who wants to see this company grow? And that's why Eli Drake, he's made that point be known. And that's why he's going to continue to be on top for a long time. And they're really going to go with this guy. But if, you know, if they sign someone and they're just, they're just there, you know, killing time until they can get to the WWE, like, we don't want you. 
who wants to be here, who wants to be in the company and see it grow and make this thing happen instead of running and running towards opportunity before it's your time. I have no problem with someone moving on to a greater opportunity, but satisfy your contract. This is BQ. Hit subscribe. Thanks for listening.